Hey everyone, Allison here with a new Prototech tip. Today I'm excited to share our new templates and protocase designer. We've added die cast enclosures to our software. I'll show you how to customize them. So Protocase Designer is our free design software that's directly integrated into our custom manufacturing. You can design custom enclosures, panels, and brackets for your specific projects. Every design starts with a template that has built-in manufacturability checks. So you can design with confidence knowing that you're creating a design that can actually be built at Protocase in two to three days. Protocase Designer has 85 different templates to start from. With this new release of Protocase Designer, we've added three different types of die-cast aluminum enclosures in a variety of dimensions. We'll use this Prototech tip to go over how to customize them in Protocase Designer. But first, let's begin with a quick overview of die-cast enclosures and why they're an awesome option for your electronics. Die-cast enclosures, or as they're sometimes called, off-the-shelf, OTS, prefab enclosures, are a great option if you want the durability and protection of a machined enclosure, but at the same time, you want the most cost-effective option. A prefabricated die-cast enclosure will cost significantly less than machining a custom enclosure from bar stock, and it'll often cost less than the equivalent sheet metal enclosure too. Another advantage of using customizable die-cast enclosures is its protection against dust and water compared to custom enclosures made out of sheet metal. At Protocase, we stock three types of die-cast aluminum enclosure styles. Standard die-cast, watertight light duty, and watertight heavy duty. These different styles of die-cast vary in their ability to keep water, foreign objects, and EMI from the inside of the enclosure. You can check out our Prototech tip video on die-cast enclosures or visit our website for more information. We've got both linked below in the description. If you require another type of die-cast enclosure for your project, we'd be happy to order it for you as a non-stock request. So, with our new release of Protocase Designer, you'll find templates for all of 28 die-cast enclosures that we stock. Make sure to pause the video to download the new release if you want to follow along. Okay, now let's walk through how to customize a die-cast enclosure in Protocase Designer. I promise you, it's super easy. So when you open Protocase Designer and select New, you'll come to the Template dialog. Click on the Diecast Enclosures folder to see all of the diecast enclosures that are available for you to customize. Your dimensions aren't editable, because remember, these are prefabricated enclosures. So you're going to select the diecast enclosure with the dimensions that fit your requirements. You can customize your finish. You can change the lid and the base to be your desired powder coat color or one of our bare metal finishes. You can also click the Extras tab to add chemical film conversion coating. Then click on Start Designing to get a 3D view of the die-cast enclosure that you've selected. So at this stage, click on Edit Face under the Design section and select the face you want to customize. A few things to note, you cannot edit the inside of the face. Also, you cannot place fasteners. What you can do is add cutouts, or through holes, as they're referred to in machining. You can also add pockets. You can add graphics to a face of your die-cast enclosure too. When you add a rectangle or a square-shaped cutout, it will automatically be classified as a through-hole cutout, which means that it's a pocket that is the full material thickness of your die-cast enclosure. If you want to make a pocket, you can edit the depth to be your required pocket depth. Protocase Designer has built-in design checks and will advise you if the pocket depth you've entered falls outside of the minimum pocket wall thickness. Whether you are creating a through-hole cutout or a pocket, whatever object you do create will have a corner radius. Corner radius is the internal radius of all the corners of your part. The larger the radius, the more efficiently the enclosure can be machined, as well as increase the quality of the milling operation. So because of this, we have minimum quarter radius values in order to ensure that we machine your die-cast enclosure with quality and efficiency. Protocase Designer has these minimum quarter radius values based on the area of your cutout. If you edit the corner radius of your pocket or through hole and it falls outside the minimum corner radius we recommend, Protocase Designer will display a design error. The other thing to know about placing pockets and through hole cutouts is cut direction. So with die cast enclosures, you can choose whether you want your pocket or cutout to be cut as normal to face or normal to plane. You can use this drop down to make your desired selection. So if you want to think about it in really simple terms, normal to plane means the cutting plane is straight on, 
almost as if it's normal to the bottom surface of the enclosure. The cutting direction is 90 degrees to the side face, if the side face did not have any taper, which we know the side face of a die cast enclosure does have a slight taper of two degrees. The most important thing you need to know is that normal to plane cut direction is typically used for board mounted connectors. Normal to face, on the other hand, means the cut direction is normal to the face of the enclosure, which has a two degree angle. You may have heard of this referred to as the draft angle. Normal to face cut direction is most commonly used for panel mounted connectors. Okay, so for your graphics, you can select either digital print or silk screen, same as you would for any other enclosure, panel, or bracket type in Protocase Designer. These graphics can be text for labeling connectors, shapes or symbols, or graphic logos. Now onto the library manager. The library manager at the top right hand has all kinds of objects for you to place on your designs, such as rubber feet and graphics. Cutouts from the library manager are trickier though. These cutouts have been designed for sheet metal. We have added a check to indicate if the cutout is optimized for sheet metal or CNC machining. Our team is working hard to add more machining specific cutouts to the library, so stay tuned. Now you can still place cutouts from the Protocase Designer library onto your design. The software will add a design check, so a member of our engineering and design services team will review your design before it's manufactured. And if there's any adjustments to your design that have to be made, you'll be contacted and get a final proof to approve. As I mentioned before, you cannot place fasteners on diecast enclosures, so the fasteners tab of the library manager is disabled. Once you're done editing the face with all the customizations you want to make, you just need to click save. When you've customized your diecast enclosure to suit all of your requirements, you can get a quote by clicking in the top right corner under instant quote. If you haven't signed in yet, you'll be redirected to the My Account webpage to sign in or register if you're brand new to my account. Protocase Signer can be used to create a design without the need to sign in, but you will need to sign into my account to get a quote or make a purchase. And if you need to register, it's quick and easy. So with your quote, you can change your quantity and lead time service level and get adjusted pricing. When you're ready to order, you can proceed to place an order in Protocase Designer using my account instantly as well. Then we'll take care of the rest by customizing your diecast enclosures that you ordered using our fast one-stop shop of custom manufacturing. At Protocase, we know long lead times and project latencies kill your ability to innovate and work quickly. Protocase Designer and its now 85 templates are another tool in your arsenal to kick long lead times out of your life for good. You don't have to design custom enclosures from scratch or go through unnecessary back and forth of design changes in order to make your design manufacturable. So if you haven't already, head on over to protocasedesigner.com to download the software. It's simple and easy and you can get going in minutes. If you have any questions or run into issues, we're here to help. Email us at info at protocasedesigner.com or contact your Protocase account manager directly. Thanks very much for watching this week's Prototech Tip. If you like our content, don't miss out on any new videos. Subscribe to our channel for weekly tech tips and much more. See you next time.